hi guys happy labor day weekend i hope you are having fun and whatever you are doing i hope you stay safe today i want to share with you a story a recent experience that i had with kindness i like to use analogies and metaphors to help me understand life so i want to share with you a recent experience i had with um, kindness so recently I was traveling and while in the waiting area before I boarded the aircraft I gravitated towards this lady she had a young baby about two week, two months old and a three-year-old son and we just started making small conversations and we were, we were speaking to each other then uh, we boarded the plane, she boarded before me and she took her seat I guess and when I boarded I realized that I was sitting next to this young lady so instantly when I sat next to her I made this un, like uncommunicated agreement with myself and her that I was going to be her assistant throughout the duration of the flight because I can only imagine what it's, what it's like to travel with a very, very young baby and uh, a toddler, you know, an energetic little boy that is about three years old. So I just made that decision with myself that I'm going to help this lady. I'm going to be present enough to realize when she's struggling and when she needs my help and I can extend my help to her. And that's what I did throughout the flight never in my mind did i think that i was going to be on the receiving end of kindness on that very same flight i i felt healthy i was strong i didn't even had luggage because i had only traveled for one day so i didn't really had any luggage so i didn't think that i would need anybody's help on that aircraft so when we were on our last leg of the flight and the plane was making its final descent all of a sudden i felt like i needed to use the bathroom and i really just needed to go but i couldn't because the no the seat belt sign was turned on and i i couldn't get out of my seat during descent and i was getting restless it took about 30 minutes for us to land and as soon as we landed I just removed the seat belts and I ran to the back where the bathroom was and mark you I was sitting in the first quarter of the aircraft so I ran all the way at the back to get the bathroom when I get there I was not allowed to use the bathroom because uh, the plane was still moving to get to a parking area so I, I couldn't use the bathroom the attendants was like you cannot use the bathroom until it is safe to do so anyway I stand there praying to God that I make it to that bathroom and thank God by the grace of God I did and by the time I was out of the bathroom everyone had already stood up um, waiting to exit the plane, people were still removing their um, hand lock, their carry-on from the little cabin area. So I was stuck all the way at the back. I was the last person at the back and I had to allow everyone to exit the plane before I could go back to my seat. And then suddenly it popped in my head that I had left my 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 pocketbook under the the bench and um, the lady that I was sitting next to had already left the plane and I never I didn't expect her to sit and wait for me to come back she had a young baby that was hungry that needed to be changed and she had a little energetic boy that just needed to get out of the plane and run free so I mean I never expected her to wait so I could hear people saying, someone left their bag, someone left their bag. And I'm all the way at the back and I'm like, oh, that's my bag, I'm still here. But I don't know if anyone could hear me. 
so i'm getting restless because in my bag i have my passport i have money i have my phone my credit card debit card so i'm getting a little restless because i do not want anyone to to take my bag anyway after a long time i was able to slowly slowly get to my to my to the area i was sitting and when i was close by there was this lady the plane was almost empty at that point so it was just me and this lady and there's a few people and there was this lady standing next to my to the to the to my seat and she had her my bag on her side and she said i held your bag for you because i didn't want anyone to take it and I was just so shocked and humbled and so thankful and grateful for this lady. And I was like, how did you know it was my bag? How did you know it was me? And she said, I saw when you ran at the back to use the bathroom. And I just thought that I should hold your bag for you until you come back. And she waited there a long time until I was able to get to her to give me my bag. And this this is a simple act of kindness but i couldn't stop thinking of how kind that this lady was and i couldn't stop thinking about kindness and i learned two very important lessons from this experience that one it is often it is not the people we help or we are kind to that is going to reciprocate kindness, kindness towards us and that's okay it is always often it is always always a stranger and I think the reason for that is because probably the universe wants it to make wants to make it impactful so that you can always remember that day when you were on the receiving end of kindness so that you will always be triggered by that experience to always want to give back. And the other lesson that I learned from that is that kindness is like an investment. It's like putting money away in an emergency fund. You hope that you will never need it, but there's going to be a day when you will need it because in life we all struggle. There's going to be a point in our life where we are going to be on the receiving end of kindness and it is always good to give it so that you know that, hey, you know what, I can go into my box of kindness and take it. You know, this God is always going to send an angel. I'll never be alone because I've been sowing seeds of kindness all my life and today I need it and I know for sure and I'm confident for sure that someone is going to be there for me when I need help. There are people who have big hearts and who will definitely be open to helping you and even this simple act it was so profound because I just, this, the lady, she had a family. She had two boys and a husband. And when we left the aircraft, they were outside waiting for her. And she just, time is precious. And she took about 20 minutes of her time just standing there. And she didn't just look at my bag. She, she, she had my bag like holding like this like this just waiting for me to to get to her so i wanted to share this experience guys it's it's a very very it's a cold world we have a lot of of bad things happening we have a lot of unkind things happening but always remember that there are good people out there that there are kind people out there that kindness is contagious it is if you are kind people if you are kind to others automatically people just want to express that same energy you know if, if someone is kind to me obviously i'm gonna want to spread kindness to somebody else and 
it spreads like wildfire it creates a domino effect and it sometimes starts with one person so I know that sometimes we get frustrated because we often give kindness but we never get it back but rest assured that if you are ever on the receiving end of kindness you're going to receive it because there are good people out in this world i also want to say that um, if you cannot be kind to anyone if you don't have something kind to say if you don't have something kind to show to someone else someone just don't do nothing at all because we have people out there who are suffering mentally suffering emotionally and it's not obvious because people wear their wear a smile to cover their pain people are when you ask someone hey how are you doing they will just say I'm fine but sometimes they are not you do not want to add to their pain so if you cannot say something kind don't say anything at all guys I want you to share with me in the comment section an experience you had with kindness were you the one who showed kindness to someone or were you on the receiving end of kindness I is whatever you do always always try to be kind every day of your life try to be kind whether it is a smile whether it is just holding the door for someone or just anything simple people will appreciate it thank you for watching guys if you like this video please share please subscribe and please like this video share it with someone you may know let us spread kindness let us make this world a, a happy place for for everyone i look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you for watching